Hello and welcome now also here from the PC editing table. I think this is an airplane spotting point where I just passed it. But first the info about this tour. I took the train from Düsseldorf Benrad to Düsseldorf Airport. I started my tour by bike from the railway station Düsseldorf Airport. The entire tour is about 42 kilometers long and leads almost exclusively on pure cycle pass via Düsseldorf Kaiserwert. From there along the Rhine for about 22 kilometers. I cycled through the Kalkum Forest to the district of Kalkum and from there to Kaiserswerth. But I will now let the uh, AE do the translation again. Drive the car as intensively as possible. Yes, you can see here on the right is the Schmitzi. So I basically make a small arc to the north to get to the district of Kalkum and then from there to Kaiserswerth. As you can see, I'm already here. In Düsseldorf Kalkum, the outskirts from the east, I drive there. I just drove over bridges on the B8 and also on the railway line that runs between Dusseldorf and Duisburg both times, yes. As I said, this is all north of Dusseldorf Airport. Now, as I said, I'm in Kalkum. I'm driving through the northern part of Kalkum a bit. And now it's getting a bit interesting because here on the right, it would now go to Kalkum Castle, but I'll leave that for now. Lying on the left isn't true, it's on the right. I have the St. Lambertus Church photographed. I think of the photos that I always show. You can also find them in Komode where the tour is included. Mm -hmm. This is linked under the video. There you will find the links. Yes, I'm actually here now. Arrived in Kaiserswerth and here at the Berliner Imbiss. And, you know, I like to eat currywurst with fries. I got them here well. I mean, they were like well, sevens. I thought they were somehow really cheap with mayo even included and that. Currywurst and fries were really delicious. Yes, as I said, this is Clemens Platz, where U76 also stops but I had considered going there from Benrath by subway, but that would have taken much longer and I would have had to change trains. Yes, now I'm driving through Kaiserswerth, by the way. I had more coffee on the corner at Cafe Schuster earlier. And a particle fetched because cake, which is very not so dry, is always a bit of a problem to take on the bike. Now, as I said, I have already driven through the town of Kaiserswerth on the Kaiserswerther Markstraße, which runs from east to west or west to east as you like. So I basically drove from east to west for a long time and then I end up here on the Rhine and of course you see a very nice view of the Rhine below. At the bottom of the picture I always show additional information as I said via banners which pop up then always so that you can see a little bit where I am right now. Uh, I made a lot of effort, 
There are also a few hints here. You can see the 12th century castle ruin on the left. Then here is a map of what it looks like from above because as I said I went through the tour relatively quickly so I didn't take the time to do all the sightseeing stuff here. To stop for films because it's very time consuming, because it's always my turn to drive a little later to the routes or the start and finish points by car. Above all, it is always not so wrong in autumn and winter to leave before 12 mile a.m. Because, as I said, today is one of those days, for example, when the night sky is clear, it cools down very much. And the next day, when there are southerly winds, it warms up nicely. By the way, it was really warm today on the day I'm currently, I don't even know what date I was traveling on. I'll say it again. That was a Wednesday, October 23rd, 2024. Yes, you just saw there was still the restaurant there where the ferry is between Kaiserswerth and I'll have to look again for a long time. And especially here, it's a bit stupid if you are from this inn. Then you want to continue driving without wanting to drive great on the road or a detour. The ferry route would then have to go back in the opposite direction to get to Lohauser Dijkstrasse. I abbreviated it, but there's such a stupid edge for that, yeah. That's why I cut it so short. You see, I'm already on the dam here. The tour goes in this direction, so from north to south, so upstream. Here's the test again of the Telesin gimbal, which has a built-in camera and has object recognition or facial recognition. Somehow, like that. You see, however, the thing played a bit crazy that day. I put a GoPro on it. It somehow shouldn't really work that day, that day. But you see, when I walked past it on foot, go, then it worked. And well, that was it. You see, another attempt with the bicycle failed miserably. As I said, I also changed the side of the gimbal i.e. with camera on it, once with a view to the west against the sun, before at the beginning exactly the other way around. Somehow everything was of no use. Yes, you walk past it, you saw, then it works well. I didn't stay long with it. Everything costs a lot of time. Here on the left is the exhibition center, and yes, as I said, it goes up the Rhine River here because I haven't said the tour yet. Roundabout was 42 kilometers long. Yes, this comrade here. So I thought he was very funny with his bicycle. I have the time faded in. He was driving with music. It reminded me of Manta, Manta, the movie. That was the bicycle version. That's how it seemed to me. Okay, yes, but I only noticed that because you'll see later, I'll turn right away. And then, a little lower on the shore, here is the place where I now ride a little lower down. You can also go up next to the Federal Road, but you know, I don't feel like it. It was much nicer down here, and when I did my coffee break down here, the guy came by so yeah, he kind of reminded me. The Dusseldorf Kuh, where people 
according to Poser, always drive up and down the street with their pimped up cars because he drove here again. So well, a little crazy, well, yes. Here on this ship, which is also a restaurant, and then I took a break and put this Telesin gimbal on the camera again. After I put it down, you can see that it played crazy again for some reason even though I didn't press the remote control. But well, maybe I did because I had it in my trouser pocket. Maybe it just comes to mind on the occasion, but somehow. Since this operation may have been pressed in the pocket in the trouser pocket, that just comes to mind. But the nice thing is that you can see that I'm sitting there on the bench and taking my coffee break. And the nice thing is that you can also change the viewing angle remotely, even if this follow me function with the camera's facial recognition is only limited. Ich habe das ja schon mal in dem Video davor tested. And also here at home on footpaths. So if you continue to drive past it at a distance of two, two and a half meters, it's pretty much crap. So then it doesn't work. Well, anyway, I'm now well taken care of again. Coffee and cake are all currywurst. I have already bought fries. So now it's back up to the B1, which runs from north to south here on the shore in Dusseldorf and yes the look here I don't even know why there are so many people here but I think it has something to do with this with this book there's everything there I think it's still such a real classic I find one of the books Fortuna Bütchen is actually already a site yes what I just noticed is that there is also a ferris wheel on the right side of the bank. I don't even know if that was in operation now. You can write it in the comments. By the way, the cars on the left are now disappearing, i.e. the B1. In the Ufer Tunnelstrasse, this has the advantage. In the past, this happened above ground and who knows how to pass the castle square here and the nice thing is that now because everything is deeper and has disappeared underground you now have a very nice opportunity here to stroll and enjoy the tranquility so i think the variant is really great I have to say honestly, so that's why it's done great. Burgplatz, of course, I treated myself to an ice cream here. But only a scoop of two euro, you have to do that. Let it melt on the tongue. So you have to especially enjoy the ice cream. Yes, by the way, here is a ferris wheel set up on the castle square. Here the castle square or castle tower is somehow such a remnant. I think somehow there was once a castle. I think, I don't know, I could write down my comments. Yes, and yes, this ferris wheel is, of course, I know how high you can look over the Rhine and the city. It was even on WDR television current hour. Yes, here you can see the path here, the cycle path. It is with waves, waves, paving stones or slabs or whatever you call them laid out here on the left. At least that's what the old port is called. Yes, you can't really see well now even if I also have an ice cream parlor on the left here so just one another one shouldn't like it that much at Burgplatz earlier 
You can then go a little further and there at the port. So, and now we are here at the Rheinke Brücke, here at, and at the Rheinke Bridge on the right here in the direction of travel. There is also the State Parliament of North Rhine Westphalia. I showed this here via aerial photo so that you can see a little bit, as I said, next door. There is also a Rhine Tower. In the past it was always called a TV Tower because there are many antennas. And didn't you see driving on top of them? Well, by the way, you can drive up there and then sit at the top in a rotating restaurant. So you can sit there. You don't even need to get up. And here on the left is the maritime port. So Marina is the Marina of Düsseldorf. Und jetzt geht hier auf die Medien, Hafen, Brücke. So this is actually the access road here, the waterway that now runs under the bridge here. This is basically the Rhine here. And from there you can then go in here by ship to the port and... Yes, deleting his cargo accordingly, I think that's what it means, yes. So you can of course shorten the piece because it's quite a knee piece, you know how to shorten it. Okay if there was a green path or with few cars but there isn't you really have to go next to or on I don't know I think it's only two kilometers or so from there so it's just such a pure curve of course you have to follow it and but I found it now sehr schön the good here on the right was the golf club. Then there are also really great meadows here. I don't know, you can maybe fly kites there in autumn. I don't know why I'm there, so uh, I didn't see anyone okay, but good. Wednesdays, of course, also in the middle of the week. But you also see really great light here with the trees, light and shadow play beautiful with the autumn colors of the foliage on the trees so I thought that was very very great and you can see quite a bit I swiveled the camera a bit to the right a really great meadow where you can certainly walk around and yes in autumn dragon season you can let it fly yes but as I said, I also chose this day, this said Wednesday. You see it is totally windless and it should also be quite warm. I think even after that, the days are even a little warmer. But it was really very pleasant for me in terms of temperatures. And yes, you see, it is very great from the light. Yes. Here in front of here, above me now, the train connection from Dusseldorf over to the other side to Neuss. And yes, now it's getting a bit bumpy here in Dusseldorf, Ham, the riverside path. It's now somehow a bit patched up, patched up moderately. Can just drive it it's not like that yes and I decided to ride this lower riverside path here now so whether it's here in Google now it's definitely marked as a cycle path I don't have one either now that I've seen the band sign everything is fine I would say.
so not a big problem. Yes, and earlier you probably saw some thick fortification walls on the left, probably because of floods, etc. Yes, and down there on the right was the Rhine beach, so in summer they are there. Yes, you're actually not supposed to have many people bathing. It's just dangerous in the Rhine, but it's good to go in with your feet. That shouldn't actually cause any problems. But always take care of the children. It happens so quickly. They slip out somehow or dare to go further in and yes, etc. PP, so... Always be careful. Yes, the Rhine is quite violent in terms of current. At some point you have straightened a lot here and of course there are still many Rhine loops here but I think if you look at historical maps where the Rhine has flowed long everywhere, it's called Old Rhine Arms, there are still quite a few things on the Hohenbacher Kempe. And yes, I'm always surprised that it was more pretentious earlier. Well, whether that's also good today, also for shipping, because the current here is already quite strong. So I find myself back here in the film now. I'm here now. I think I'm already ahead. I should be there. What is this now? Was that the south? This is already the Fleha Bridge and at this point, after about 30 kilometers, I now virtually turn off the Rhine, drive through the Flehewald right away. So I was looking for a green passage that would take me from the banks of the Rhine now to the Menselsee or Elbsee can bring. So I really worked on it for a while in the dresser with Google Maps and I think I found a very nice passage there. Well you have to cross one or two streets here but you see there's not so much traffic, it's already here somehow between the university and the university hospital. But, you see, I find such paths totally idyllic as long as no one comes towards me. I have to add funny, but I was lucky. So almost no one came towards me, or if, then it was just in a favorable place. Sure, here are a few streets that you have to cross. So here on the right should actually be all the university stories, cafeteria and university apartments, lecture halls, etc. And on the left is the university hospital grounds. Maybe that's why it's a little quieter here, maybe I don't know. So I found it quite relaxing to drive longitudinally here, and yes, that was from there. Passage are very pleasant, I must say. Yes, well now here is the place where the P and R parking lot, Sud Park, is. It's just off here, where the bus is just coming from. But I'm now turning right here a little bit parallel to that. U-Bahn line. And by the way, this is the U-73. And then turn parallel to the A-46 again. And then I pass the University Sports Field. And here to my right is the University Lake and then it just keeps going on here next to the a 46 which is on my left 
Luckily you don't hear that much now and now I can get out in Würsten, Würsten, Düsseldorf, Würsten and this is now the village road, that's where it drives now. By the way, uh, I would have U7279 long, it's there right now and the subway at least, which line I can't say exactly but whatever and yes and then it actually goes here directly above the A46 because it runs here now you basically have it covered and it's now right here under this green space I don't think you can really imagine that and you can hear a little bit it's totally quiet and a great green area, a bit like a park, which they prepared up here. And you see there are no small trees there now, so I think it's really, really great. Yes, there is a dog park right now. Well, anyway, yes, now it's here. I don't even know. It's somehow even a park that's located west of the Ella Cemetery. It's all on the left here in front of this Wurstener. Feldstraße, the bridge that was just there and now here on the left. That's actually everything here, this Ella i.e. Uh, the Dusseldorf Cemetery Ella, yes. I'm now driving a little along the Dusselang. Now I'm crossing it too and basically changing the river. And this is now the bridge over the Dussel. That should be the southern Dussel. And now here ahead I turn parallel to the Essersbach. I now follow it for a bit until I come across the railway line that runs between Hilden and Dusseldorf, which is exactly what I follow now. And now I turn here again and leave the Eselsbach and now have to cross under the railway line because I always have to cycle west now to get to my starting point near Menzelsee. Yes, before I forget or haven't said it yet, think about it. Den Komod link findet ihr unter dem Video. There is always a text description about the content of this video to find and below the description text about what the video is about here and what I show, you will find the dresser link underneath. Yes, it can sometimes be that there is a copy and paste error. And the fact that it doesn't necessarily always work, just write it in the comments and then I clean it up because sometimes I forget to try it out for them. And then that's always a bit stupid. Yes, by the way, here is the lady on the phone with her cell phone. You can see she almost fell. So talking on the phone, on the bike with her cell phone is not really healthy, I would say. You can quickly lie down on your nose, especially on the bike. Yes, Dusseldorf, Hassel, Hasseler. I have to look again now. I currently have exactly one hassle. This is actually a great green passage to the right and left of me, is actually everything. Residential complexes and there is now a green passage here that is really great. Well, the only small downside, but that doesn't necessarily have to be a disadvantage, is now here at this point, 
where I'm crossing the old Altenbrucker Straße and and then you get into a small business district there is everything you need a railway a pharmacy a small restaurant kebab shop a penny aldi what do i know a norma if you cycle here during the week you can eat well here Well, I'll just drive through there and now things continue nicely. You always see this here. I think this is the district of Dusseldorf, the district nine. So Dusseldorf, Hassels, and in the south, it is then Hassels, Benrath. So Benrath, Hassels is here. Well, good. So I'm driving a little south here and then I'll turn again. I turn again a little towards the east. To do this I have to cross the A59 again but that would have to be done right away. Come you see, as I said, very beautiful, very quiet. Well, except for the one or two small side roads crossing, I found it very pleasant, which is a bit stupid now. I announced it when I arrived, but the crossing of the A59 isn't a big deal either. Yes, and then you drive there. It's a separate cycle path and then it goes off into the next forest here, Hazela Forst, and then I'm right back at Lake Elbe. It is in the north and south of it is Menzel Sea. In between there is actually such a middle, such a such a yes such a green stripe yes well you used to excavate it like that and sometimes very strange paths emerge here now you can see that it is this this underpass under the Dusseldorf railway Hilden and Dusseldorf underneath and then it goes here now it's getting a bit dark I'm that's why I said earlier that I'm going to continue driving pretty quickly, actually, because it's getting dark quickly. Luckily, it was still summertime while I'm just finishing the video here. The time change has been today is Monday and Monday the 28th, 10th, where I'm finishing editing and commenting the video here. Yes, I'm right here at my starting point at the car where I parked. I hope you liked the video. Thumbs up and a subscription from You Would Be Nice. Thank you and goodbye and have fun cycling. Wink, wink.